think when I was a young person, ambition was very much just about desperately wanting to be successful. And now I think I am more nuanced about what being successful actually means. And so I think it's much more about having impact, having positive impact, like leaving good footprints wherever you go, I'd say. And so I think ambition to me is about wanting to um, leave a positive impact and, and, and have significance, I would say. So are you ambitious? Very. <laughs> Very. Like, I always have been, yeah, for sure. So why do you think you're this way? You just came that way, or...? <laughs> Um, why am I this way? Uh, you know, I think it goes back to your childhood and how you're raised and honestly, like the country in which I was raised, so obviously I'm a Kiwi and I think, um, I feel like I was raised in a family where, um, it was expected that I would live up to my potential. I would say that, um. And so it was kind of like wasn't an option <laughs> to not be um, pursuing the best that I could be. I would start there. Um, and I also think being a Kiwi, um, we just, we're a, we're a competitive bunch. Like we're the underdogs because we're little, but we, I think part of our sort of national psyche and wiring is we like to win. And so I think that, you know, was always somewhere in my you know, cultural upbringing, and and I don't know as well being a woman that came of age at a time when, you know, it just never even occurred to me that I couldn't have whatever career I wanted to have. It just wasn't a question that I asked myself. And you know, it's funny having moved to the United States, where I think um, women were more aware that they might not have the same opportunities as men and I, I, I think that has something to do with you know the time in history when women had the vote in New Zealand all sorts of things that I just think we were a step forward so I sort of I think for me personally I came of age in a country in a being a gender and in a family that um, having the uh, potential for success felt like a very high possibility to me. I was just relay, raised with that very deep belief. So it was kind of like, therefore, it is my obligation to be ambitious and go after it. Can you describe for me the most ambitious person that you know? Yeah, I uh, was, I love this question when I was thinking about who would that be? I have a very dear friend, um, his name is Marcelo Clare. And he is the CEO of Sprint Communications, which is the major giant telecom company over here. Um, and he is uh, Bolivian, he's of Bolivian descent, and he was a young entrepreneur that had came up from absolutely nothing to you know enormous success for himself and then went on to be in the role he's in now. And he is, to use the American term, a total baller. <laughs> like he's... He is someone who just sucks the marrow out of life everywhere, from family to career to politics to sports to anything you can imagine. He is playing hard for everything that he wants. And I find him to be really inspiring because he's one of those people that just, it doesn't occur to him that he shouldn't go after and get whatever he wants for himself. <laughs> and I think when I think about his roots, you know, coming from a country like Bolivia, it's not like he was born in the United States as a white man with all the privilege and opportunity in the world, completely the opposite. Yet his own personal ambition has clearly got him to where he's gone in life. Is there anything that would enable you to be more ambitious? Um... It's funny, I don't think so, because I, I think for me, um, you know, I am, am very ambitious and I'm not apologetic about it, <laughs> you know, I think there are sometimes, I have come across people, uh, particularly women, not surprisingly, who almost um, struggle with uh, admitting that, you know, you get into particularly the phase of your life when you're parenting and stuff like that, and I think sometimes women have that complex of guilt of, wow, you know, am I not a good mum if I'm 
really ambitious and um, I've never had that issue because I actually think for me um, I had incredible parents both who had real impact in very different ways in the world um, in you know close to home small ways and big ways and everything in between and I think one of the reasons I have had the sort of opportunities I've had is because I was raised by people who were committed to doing great things in the world and going after it and so I you know I feel very inspired by that and I think that was a great they were great role models for me and I would like to be that for my kids.